this cycle is enlivened. The light images produced by the fire spirits shine outward through these sensory germs. The ancestor of man is thereby elevated to a kind of shining entity. While the life of Saturn is otherwise dark, man now shines in the general darkness. The spirits of personality, on the other hand, were still awakened to their human existence in this general darkness. The human being himself can make no use of his luminosity on Saturn. The luminosity of his sensory germs could not express anything in itself, but through it other more exalted beings are given the possibility to reveal themselves to the life of Saturn. Through the sources of light of the ancestors of man, these beings radiate something of their nature down to the planet. These are exalted beings from among those four ranks of which it has been said above that they have grown beyond all connection with human existence in their development. Without any necessity for them to do it, they now radiate something of their nature out of free will. Christian esoteric teaching here speaks of the revelation of the seraphim, seraphim, the spirits of love. This condition lasts until the middle of the sixth Saturn cycle. After this begins the work of those beings which at this stage have a dull consciousness such as is found in man today when he is in a deep, dreamless sleep. These beings are the sons of twilight, the spirits of dust. In theosophical writings they are called lunar pitris or barnishad pitris. They attain the stage of humanity only on the moon. On Earth they, as well as their predecessors, the sons of fire, have already grown beyond the stage of humanity. On Earth they are higher beings which Christian esoteric teaching calls angels, angeloid, while for the sons of fire it uses the expression archangels, archangeloid. These sons of twilight develop in the ancestor of man a kind of understanding, of which however, in his dull consciousness, he himself cannot yet make use. Through this understanding, exalted entities now again reveal themselves, as previously the seraphim did through the sensory germs. Through the human bodies, understanding is now poured out over the planet by those spirits whom Christian esoteric teaching calls Cherubim Cherubim. Around the middle of the seventh Saturn cycle a new activity begins. Man has now reached the point where he can work unconsciously on his own material body. Through his activity in the utter dullness, of Saturn existence, man produces the first germinal predisposition to the true spirit man, who reaches his full development only at the end of the development of mankind. In theosophical literature this is called Atma. It is the highest member of the so-called monad of man. In itself it will be quite dull and unconscious at this stage. But as the seraphim and the cherubim reveal themselves out of their free will in the two preceding human stages, so the thrones now reveal themselves, those beings who, at the very beginning of Saturn existence, radiated the human body out of their own nature. The germinal predisposition of spirit man, Atma is completely penetrated by the power of these spirits of will and retains this power through all subsequent stages of development. In his dull consciousness at this stage man as yet cannot realize anything of this germinal predisposition, but he develops further, and later this germinal predisposition becomes clear to his own consciousness. 
This work is not yet completed at the end of the life of Saturn, it continues into the first sun cycle. One should consider that the labor of the higher spirits which has been described here does not coincide with the beginning and end of a smaller cycle of around but that it continues from the middle of one to the middle of the next. Its greatest activity is developed in the periods of rest between the cycles. It increases from the middle of the cycle Manvantara onward, becomes strongest in the middle of the period of rest Kaliya, and then ebbs in the next. It has already been mentioned in the preceding chapters that life by no means ceases during the periods of rest. From the above it also becomes apparent in what sense Christian esoteric science says that in the beginning of time, the seraphim, cherubim, and thrones first revealed themselves. With this, the course of Saturn has been followed to the time where its life develops through a period of rest into that of the sun. Of this we shall speak in the following discussions. Tilda Tilda. For the sake of greater clarity, here we shall give a summary of the facts of development of the first planet. One this planet is the one on which the dullest human consciousness develops, a deep trance consciousness. Together with this, the first rudiment of the physical human body develops. This development passes through seven subsidiary stages, smaller cycles are around. At each of these stages higher spirits begin their work on the development of the human body, namely in the first cycle, the spirits of the thrones, second cycle, the spirits of wisdom dominions, third cycle, the spirits of motion principalities, fourth cycle, the spirits of form powers, fifth cycle, the spirits of personality primal beginnings, sixth cycle, the spirits of the sons of fire, archangels, seventh cycle, the spirits of the sons of twilight angels. Three in the fourth cycle, the spirits of personality raise themselves to the stage of humanity.